Hello everybody, so welcome to my first ever Mix It Up tutorial for streamers. If you are a new streamer, this is perfect for you. This is a good way to get engagement on your streams. If you have never heard of Mix It Up, I'm also going to be telling you about Mix It Up. So Mix It Up is a community-driven open source stream bot that is created for streamers, by streamers. It is a bot that you can integrate with Streamlabs, you can use it with OBS Studios. I am on OBS Studios, so I will be showing you how I tie it into OBS Studios. Studios. I'm going to give you a Mix It Up 101 course right here. Make sure to like this video and follow my channel if you guys want more Mix It Up tutorials coming soon because I've got a ton of stuff to show you. So first what you're going to do is search Mix It Up on Google. And yes, it is free. So you're going to go to Mix It Up right here. You're going to download the bot. The only streaming bot you'll ever need, period. And yes, I fully agree with this. So once you download it, it's going to look a little something like this. You're gonna go to accounts and you're gonna hook up your Twitch account. You can hook up your Twitch account here and then you can also hook up your bot account. So if you guys are on my streams, then you know that I use the TTI Honk bot. So I have Truffles, the TTI Honk bot hooked up right here as my bot account. Now I'm gonna show you some basic things that you can do on Mix It Up to get you some really good engagement. Let's start with some really simple things that you can do on Mix It Up. If you go to events and then you click on Twitch right here, it's gonna show you a whole range of options. I know that Mix It Up's gonna be really overwhelming when you open it up, but hopefully these tutorials will help you narrow down what exactly you wanna do on Mix It Up. You'll see that I have some commands running for when Twitch does certain things. For instance, when my Twitch channel starts, I have a command that runs on its own. When somebody follows me, I have a command. And then when there's an out going raid, when there's someone subscribed, you can do all sorts of things through the events right here. So let's start with Twitch channel stream start. Whenever your channel's starting and somebody comes in and you want to keep them engaged while they're waiting for the stream to start, you can do a number of things. So if you click on the edit button right here, you're going to click on that. And then there's going to be a whole action panel down here. These are where you're going to add your actions for how you're going to execute the command that's going to happen whenever your Twitch channel starts. So for instance, under actions, I added chat. So that's where you see this chat message right here. And then it says, welcome in geese, because we're the geese in the goose pond. And then I have it waiting for a little bit. And then another chat message that has, it says TT inventory honks. That's the emote. That's my honk emote. So it honks all over my screen so that people are getting hyped. You can either send this message as the streamer. So you can either toggle this on, send it as the streamer, which means you send this message as yourself automatically underneath your username. So I would send as, for instance, me TT inventory, or if you toggle it off, it'll automatically send as your bot. So this is how Truffles, my TTI honk bot, this is how he sends messages in the chat. So the welcome in geese is from Truffles, unless I toggle this on and then it's from me. Otherwise it automatically hooks up to that bot that we showed you how to do earlier. So there's that, just a really simple way to get engagement. You can also do things like maybe if you have a really complex overlay or something, you can say, how many pumpkins can you find in my overlay? How, like, let's count how many cups of tea there are, or, you know, like, ask a question of the day, like, what is, what's your favorite animal? I don't know. There's all sorts of things you can do on the start of the stream, which is really helpful. Go through there, just try and sift through those, but right now we're focusing on engagement if you're a new streamer. So let's go back to the hamburger, and now you can go to Twitch channel points. As you know, channel points are a really fun way to engage with streamers, and if you are a viewer on someone else's stream, then you know that it's a lot of fun to A, mess with the streamer, and B, be as engaged as possible in that streamer's stream. And if you are in my streams, then you know that there are a lot of channel points that I have in my streams where you know, we do a number of different things. You can either, you can set off confetti, you can have a honk go off. Here, let me see if I can actually, let's see if I can do it because I'm technically actually streaming right now and I'm recording it. So if you were to go into my channel, there's gonna be a number of different channel point redeems that you can do depending on what type of stream that we're doing. So let's start with simple channel points. Let's do something like the honk. All right, let's do honk. So we're gonna test the command so I can show you what it does. There you go. So I'm gonna show you how to do that really simply. First, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create an endpoint. You need to create a browser source so that you can tell Mix It Up where to send your commands and your overlays or whatever you're wanting to do for your channel point redemptions. So before we create the channel point, we're gonna go to settings right here. And then you're gonna go to overlays. So you see this overlay button? These are all the overlays that I've made with a link that comes with it so that you can add it as a browser source. You're going to create a new browser source. We're gonna call this test source because we're 
testing, and then we're gonna add it. So then it's gonna create a new link for you. You're gonna copy that link right here, and then we're gonna kind of have stream inception really quick. So for instance, here in OBS, I know we're kind of having stream inception right now. You're gonna click add right here, and then you're gonna click browser, and then you're gonna click create new. We'll just name it channel point one and then you're gonna click OK, and then you're gonna add it. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna add a new one, but that's what you're gonna do. So then this is what it looks like. See, I have my mix it up, raid image one, raid image two, it's gonna look like that. So now we're gonna get off of the stream section. So once you've added that source, you're gonna exit out of that, go back to channel points, and now we're gonna create a new channel point. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it, by the way. There's probably many other ways to do this, but this is what I do. So you're going to go online and you're gonna go to giphy.com and then you're going to type whatever you want. So, let's uh let's make a let's make a completely new channel point together. Let's do um let's do a cute little like funny mushroom funny little mushroom channel point redemption. Like maybe you're a cottage core streamer, I don't know. So, here's all the gifts that you can use from Giphy. I usually go to the stickers. I don't you can click on stickers. I don't click on the gifts. I always I like to make it as transparent as possible. Let's see, maybe you're doing like a rip thing. So let's do like a rip mushroom, sad mushroom. You're gonna right click, you're gonna save the image and then you're gonna put that image in whatever folder is best for you. So I have an image and GIF folder, sad mushroom. I'm gonna label it sad mushroom. And then there is a place I use for really quick sounds that you can download. It's called My Instant Sounds. There's a lot of different stuff in here. There's also some like interesting stuff in here. So be very careful when clicking around. But there are a ton of sounds that people upload on My Instant Sounds that you can use. So for instance, let's look up sad, sad violin. Okay, this sounds like a good one. Let's see what this one is. So that one's good. So let's do this one. So we're gonna click on sad violin, download the MP3. So we've downloaded that sound and then add that sound to whatever sound folder you have. And it's in, it's really important to note that you cannot, whenever you upload these to mix it up, you cannot move them around. You can't like, as in you can't change the folders. You can't move them around in different folders once you've uploaded them to mix it up because it has to stay within the same source for mix it up to be able to find it. FYI. So now we have our GIF downloaded. Now we have our sound downloaded. So we're going to go back to mix it up. You're in channel points, right? You're going to say, create a new channel point reward, channel point name. Sad mushroom. Name it something exciting that people are gonna know. People are gonna know what it is when they click on it. So I usually add parentheses SFX so they know it's a sound effects. We're gonna say okay. Channel point reward successfully created. Awesome. We see sad mushroom. I've I made groups. I'm not gonna teach you about that right now, but it should just pop up for you. But if if you do have groups, it'll be under ungrouped. So you're gonna go to sad mushroom. You're gonna click this edit button right here. So now this is where you add actions to tell mix it up how to perform this channel point. So we're gonna go to actions. You're going to scroll down to overlay and images and a GIF is basically an image. So you're gonna click image and then you're going to click on overlay endpoint and you're going to find test source right here. You're going to click on test source. I'm going to click on default for mine because I didn't officially add test source, but this is where you're going to find your overlay endpoints. And then you can move around your browser source on your overlay wherever you want it to go. So for mine, I'm going to say it's on default because that's, that's what I named my browser source. You're going to browse, find the mushroom. Here's our sad mushroom right here. We want it to play for about three seconds because the sound we chose is about two, maybe three seconds long. And then you're gonna go back to actions. You're gonna go to sound. Make sure that the action is on play sound. Find the sound that you downloaded, click open. And now you can play everything individually just to make sure that everything is kosher. So I'm gonna click play just on the overlay and image. There's my little sad mushroom. I'm gonna click the sound. <laughs> So now you're gonna click save down here and to test it, make sure that you have your browser open so that you can see everything and then click the play button where it says test command and then test command. See, so now I can see that I actually did need to make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go back to overlay. I'm gonna make this about five seconds. And for a bit of extra added fun, you will notice that there's an entrance animation and an exit animation. So I'm going to go to the entrance animation and see some fun things that I can do, like zoom in on the mushroom and then maybe zoom out just to make it extra dramatic. And then you're gonna save. And now let's see what that looks like all together. You ready?
But I think it was a little too long, so now I'm going to make it four seconds, and that should be perfect. Perfect. And boom, so that's how you do channel points. In order to edit the channel point, make sure that you go to your stream manager. So here's my stream manager, viewer rewards, channel points. You're gonna see that it's gonna pop up in the beginning as one channel point. Find sad mushroom, click edit, and then you can rename it in here if you want. I'm gonna keep it a sad mushroom. I'm gonna label it sound effects so people know that it's a sound effect. And then you're going to make it however much you want it to cost. Maybe about, I, I always like to make my sound effects like a pretty, pretty low so that people can have a good time whenever they come into chat and they know they don't need to like save an arm and a leg in order to play a sound unless it's like a really long and intense sound. So we're just going to make it about 200 channel points. Add whatever image you want, click save and boom. You now have a channel point called sad mushroom that you can use in stream. So there you go. So that's how you do a basic channel point. So now that you know how to add a basic channel point reward. I'm going to teach you how to add one or two fun commands. So if you go to the hamburger again and then you go to commands, I have a ton of commands. All right. So there are too many commands almost. <laughs> For instance, I have a how honk command and it tells you how honk you are. So I'm going to show you how to find the variables and stuff to input for that so that you can do uh, specific number variables and things like that for special commands. It's gonna ask you, how do you want people to trigger this command? So I want people to be able to do exclamation mark, which is the command for Twitch, how honk. Whenever they use exclamation mark, how honk, mix it up is going to automatically play this action. It's going to send a chat message from my bot. See, I have send a streamer toggled off and then I have at dollar sign username. This is the command for mix it up is dollar sign at dollar sign username. You are dollar sign random number to a hundred percent honk today. So then it looks a little something like this. If you go into the chat, I'm doing chat through stream manager. You send a message, you do command how honk. And then my TTI honk bot says, TT inventory, you are 88% honk today. And then it'll just randomly generate a number and you can have it say whatever you want it to say. One more cool command you can do is actually one that is not in this command section. What you're gonna do is you're going to go to the hamburger, you're gonna go to timers. And then you can add a command here, but these are gonna be set on timers that are automatically going to be posted when you are live. So I have a few timers that go off so that people know what my socials are, so that they know what my bit perks are. So I have a bit perk, timer that's set on for instance you add a chat message action and then the chat message says hey everybody did you know that Alyssa has special bit alerts use the command bit perks a command which i made in commands to see what you can do on stream i also have just little self-care reminders i also have a message that says like hey don't forget that you can tip the mods here's how you can tip the mods you can have a command that says don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and then you can tell, mix it up, how often you want these timers to run. So I want it to run in intervals of five minutes, one message every five minutes. Run only when live. You can toggle that on or off. Obviously, I want that on. You can randomize the timers or you can have them go in order. I disabled some timers because sometimes I use certain timers for certain occasions like subathons and things like that. And then you can also disable all timers easily if you just want to disable them easily. So that's another really great way to get engagement to remind people to engage with you and to remind people what you can do on your stream i always tell everybody this you can feel like you're repeating something a million times but i promise you there is always 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 somebody even if they stick with you in your stream or hang out with you and have seen your content a million times there's always going to be somebody who does not get the memo about certain things that you've done or created and i cannot tell you how many times that's happened so i'm all about repeating myself. So these timers are a great way to uh, repeat myself so that I don't have to repeat myself. You know what I mean? And for a little extra help, don't forget, you can actually go to the Mix It Up Wiki. It'll tell you all the commands and the variables that you can use. So just poke around in these. This is what I've used to really understand how to use Mix It Up. So those are the basics 
to start up with Mix It Up. It's super easy. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm super happy to answer any questions for you. If you want to know how to execute anything in particular, or if you've seen my streams and there's something cool that you really like, let me know. I would really love to help you out because I know how complicated this can be and how overwhelming it can be. And if you want to check out my streams and join in on the cozy chaos and see all of this in action, you can follow me at TT Inventory on Twitch. I'm super happy to have you. I do co-working streams every Monday through Friday, and I do gaming streams on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. I'm going to make more tutorials for you, show you how I do certain things, and I'm really looking forward to show you guys how to make the best out of your stream and how to get hella engagement on your streams. All right, I'll see you guys soon.